Hello everyone. Welcome to our Classroom EcoCycle Aquaponics webinar. My name is Connor Leone. I'm the Aquaponics Education Coordinator here at Ecolite. Today I'm really excited to have the opportunity to share with you our Bad R program and get you growing with your very own EcoCycle Aquaponics kit. Now before we begin, I want to tell you a little bit about who we are as an organization here at Ecolife Conservation. Ecolife was founded in 2003 with the belief that humans and nature should prosper together. We're an international organization that focuses on providing solutions to mutually benefit underserved communities and imperiled wildlife. While we do this through many programs, here in the U.S., we focus primarily on aquaponics to promote environmental stewardship and sustainable food systems. We're based out of Escondido, California, where many of our projects take place. We have a Future of Food program where we grow aquaponically and distribute food to people in need. Students have designed aquaponic systems and now utilize these systems to grow food and run experiments. We distribute EcoCycles to classrooms free of charge throughout the United States, along with our K-12 curriculum. We're grateful for the support of donors and grantors who make all of this possible, and we continue to look for new partnerships and collaborations. Now let's explain the science of aquaponics and how it works. So aquaponics is the symbiotic growing of plants and animals in a recirculating system where the fish waste acts as a natural fertilizer for the plants and the plants in turn purify the water for the fish. As the graphic illustrates, it's a combination of hydroponics, which is growing plants in nutrient-rich water, and aquaculture, which is raising aquatic animals. This is a great way of growing food because no harmful chemicals or pesticides can be added to the system because of the risk that they may pose to the fish. By using aquaponics as a natural growing method, we're reducing the amount of waste in our waterways and creating healthier food choices. Aquaponics has been around for thousands of years as a way of growing produce. Here you can see crop beds which float on top of the water and receive their nutrients from the fish below. The Aztecs and Mayans used aquaponics to grow their produce, and many Asian cultures used it to grow their rice. Modern aquaponics is usually a closed loop system that requires the input of energy. This energy includes both fish food and electricity, which can be solar powered or even air powered. The electric pump keeps waste nutrients from the plants inside the system so it doesn't contaminate the local watershed. In a traditional garden, water that isn't soaked up by the plants is evaporated or lost to the ground. The EcoCycle is a closed loop system, so fish waste and water drains off at regular intervals to fertilize plants. Today's aquaponics duplicates what nature has been doing for millions of years. The fish waste is flowed through the plant root area where it is absorbed and used by the plants. The water then flows back to the fish tank, adding some oxygen along the way from the splashing water, and the cycle is then repeated. Let's look at an example of how much land and water aquaponics can save. If you take 115 tons of lettuce from traditional farming method, you're using a massive amount of resources such as tractors, excess water, pesticides, and fertilizers. With the use of aquaponics, you can use 90% less water and 90% less land with no harmful pesticides or chemicals. Here you can see the produce can be planted much closer together because the plant roots are floating in water, ensuring that they will not become tangled or root bound. Additionally, because the system is constantly circulating, it allows nutrient rich water to be utilized time and time again. Here at Ecolife, we realize that to really manage the efficiency of our water usage, feed rising populations, and help solve some of the planet's most pressing environmental issues, it is vital that we educate our youth. And that's where you come in. The driving force behind aquaponics is the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle may sound complicated, but in reality, it's actually quite simple. We begin by feeding our fish. Our fish will then excrete ammonia in their waste. That ammonia is then broken down by that nitrifying bacteria we mentioned, where it will be turned into nitrite, and then that nitrite will be consumed by the secondary bacteria, converting it into nitrate. The nitrate is then consumed by our plants and in turn purifies the water for the fish. Your system may take up to six weeks for the beneficial bacteria to establish itself in order for the process to take place. Every new aquarium goes through an initial cycle when establishing this nitrifying bacteria. It is helpful to test your water using an API freshwater test kit while watching our videos in order to keep your tank healthy. This is a perfect experiment for students to document while allowing them to be hands-on with the system. Just to recap, aquaponics yields high quality, delicious produce. It's incredibly versatile. We use no harmful chemicals or pesticides, and we can reduce our water and land usage by up to 90%. The EcoCycle is the perfect hands-on learning tool for countless classroom projects. 
The EcoCycle allows students to interact with their learning and helps them become more involved with the lesson. Countless teachers have found that their students are asking for more salad parties because students feel so proud of the lettuce that they themselves have grown. In addition, the EcoCycle helps teach complex science concepts in a visual way, which aids in student comprehension. One great activity would be doing a compare and contrast between growing basil in soil versus in your EcoCycle. Students can journal progress and document anything that is needed to make the plants grow successfully. Now that you have become a part of our EcoCycle Aquaponics program, you will be receiving your own EcoCycle Aquaponics kit, along with the K-12 STEM curriculum. We will be doing a one-month follow-up with each of you just to see how things are going. In order to ensure our program is successful, we truly, truly, truly appreciate your feedback along with any other suggestions you might have. For this program, we require an initial setup photo and survey feedback. We would love to see any other photos or hear about any lessons that you've done in your classroom. We'll go over how to post them on Schoology here in a bit. Our K-12 STEM EcoCycle curriculum is available for each of our teachers to use, which you can find on our website and on the Schoology platform. In your curriculum, you will find diagrams, project ideas, material lists, and grading rubrics for various activities in your classrooms. Now would be a great time to pause the video and jot down a few ideas or post to Schoology how you want to use the EcoCycle in your classroom. Let's talk about setting up the EcoCycle, growing thriving plants, and maintaining a healthy environment for your fish. It's best to place your kit in an area away from a window to minimize direct sunlight which can cause algae blooms. If this is your only option, then I suggest placing a dark piece of construction paper or cardboard on the side of the tank exposed to the light. You'll want to keep your grow lights on for anywhere from 14 to 16 hours per day. As the plants germinate and grow, raise the light to keep a 2 to 4 inch distance from the top of the plants. This will ensure rapid germination and full plant growth. If you notice your plants begin to burn, adjust accordingly. You will all receive an EcoCycle pamphlet with more directions on how to set up your kit, along with helpful video tutorials that can be found on our website. Let's now go over some items that you're going to need. A standard 20 gallon fish tank with a 12 by 24 inch footprint is usually available at most pet stores and will serve as the perfect home for your fish. You'll also need to get fish food, seed packets, and of course fish. Goldfish are great because they create a lot of waste and are inexpensive. It's always a great idea to add some decor to your tank. Go to your local pet store for ideas. We recommend using a complete API freshwater testing kit for other science experiments also. A gravel vat can be a handy addition for when solid waste accumulates on the ground of your tank. Gravel itself is nice to hide fish waste and to add some landscape to your tank. If you're feeding your fish the correct amount, then you should only need to wipe down the sides of your tank with a clean sponge every six weeks or so. The EcoCycle needs minimal maintenance compared to a traditional tank without any water changes. The ideal fish for your system are goldfish and smaller tropical aquarium fish. Tropical fish can be a beautiful addition but require an aquarium heater to mimic the natural temperatures of their environment. One inch of fish per gallon is a common aquarium stocking recommendation. The actual number of fish will vary depending on the type or types of fish and their species specific care requirements. Other potential fish species include tilapia, catfish, paku and other tropicals, koi, crayfish, and plecos. Turtles and other reptiles can work as well, but you must make sure not to plant any edible produce because of the risk of salmonella. The EcoCycle is specifically designed to grow a wide variety of leafy greens and herbs because they thrive in the nitrogen-rich fertilizer produced by fish waste. Teachers have experienced great results with lettuce, basil, chard, kale, arugula, mint, cabbage, and a wide variety of leafy greens and herbs. The kit may also be used to start seeds for an outdoor vegetable garden, native plants for landscaping, tropical houseplants, and even trees. When planting your seeds, you'll first want to rinse the clay pebbles in warm water to remove the buildup of any dust that is accumulated. Cut a paper towel into one and a half by five inch strips. Place one end of the strips in the bottom of the net pot with the rest positioned along the side, forming an L shape. Fill up the pot about halfway with clay pellets. Fold the remaining half of the paper towel over the pebbles. Spray the top of the paper towel with enough water to make it damp. Place a few seeds on it and add the rest of the pellets up to the top line. The clay pellets don't provide any nutrients for the plant, but act solely as a structure for the plant roots to grow around. The ideal pH for aquaponic growing is 6.5 to 7.4, which is neutral to slightly acidic. Our tap water in San Diego is a little high, as is most areas of the country. As your system begins to cycle, your pH will naturally come down. 
Most tap water contains the additives chlorine and chloramine, which can be harmful to your fish. So if you use tap water, you'll need to add about an eighth of a teaspoon of vitamin C to break the bonds of chloramine and chlorine. A cloudy fish tank is among the most common issues we see with new ecocycles. Cloudy water is usually caused by a bacteria bloom from overfeeding, overcrowding, or adding fish too quickly. Most fish should be fed anywhere from one to two times per day, and only as much as they'll eat in about two minutes or so. You can do one or two 30% water changes to dilute the water if this is the case. Again, making sure to add vitamin C if you're using tap water. Also, make sure to rinse out the white sponge inside your grow tray at least once a week in warm water. The blue sponge should never be washed or taken out of the tank because that is where the beneficial bacteria lives. When you go on vacation, there are a couple of options for providing for your fish. The perforated cutout on the back side of your eco-cycle can be removed for the installation of an automatic fish feeder. If you're just leaving for the weekend, just make sure to feed the fish before you leave and then when you come back on the following Monday. They'll be fine for just a couple of days. If you're gone for more than a week at a time, you can buy some feeding blocks that will last anywhere from one to two weeks. During the summer, you're going to have a couple of options. The first being to turn off your system, take out the fish, and harvest your plants. You could also let a student or colleague use it over the summer or take it home yourself and grow your own summer produce. We have an entire library of videos on our website and Schoology available for you and your students to utilize. These videos go over how to set up your kit, adding water, fish, and plants, general maintenance, harvesting, and testing your water quality. In order to grow our program, we require teachers to post a photo of how they're using their kit in the classroom and take a five-minute survey. This will help us report our findings and allow us to help more teachers like yourselves. By this point, you've already signed up to Schoology, so let's just go over how to post your photos, comments, and any classroom activities that you want to share. If you use Schoology for more than one class, to access the EcoCycle newsfeed, you'll need to click Courses and select EcoCycle Aquaponics. From here, you'll be directed to the main newsfeed for all of our EcoCycle teachers. To post about your EcoCycle or give us classroom updates, click on the main text box at the top, type your message, to upload a photo, click on the File button, where you'll get a drop-down of all of your most recent downloads. Click on the photo you want to upload, making sure it's in the form of a JPEG or PNG. Wait for it to finish uploading, and then click Post to submit. Now let's go over how to access the many resources and materials Ecolife offers you on Schoology. Click on the Materials tab at the left column next to the newsfeed. Here you'll be redirected to our resources page where there'll be a red folder labeled resources. Click on that folder. Now you can see that you have access to all of our EcoCycle videos, a copy of the K-12 STEM curriculum, various posters, extra experiments, and plenty of aquaponics information for you in your classroom. To learn more, like our page, check us out, or email me. We always appreciate love on social media. For any more questions, reach out to us on Schoology, shoot us an email, or give us a phone call, and we're happy to help you out. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this webinar, and happy growing.